Emir flogged Imam in public for conducting prayers in a mosque despite ban. Today, Emir of Azare, Bauchi State, directed his Dogaris palace guards to publicly flog an Imam who held mosque prayers with more than 10 people violating the social distancing directive. According to thought reports, the Emir, the Imam conducted a jam-packed mosque prayers and this resulted in the Emir giving the order for him to be publicly flogged to serve as a scapegoat to others. Thank you for listening to this news. Well, um, viewers, I would say that what the Emir has actually done is not wrong anyway. At least he's actually promoting the, um, promoting the true um, nature of, of, uh, of Nigeria and, uh, and what it stands for. At least if other uh, leaders in other communities can uh, at least emulate the Emir, I think um, this, um, uh, uh, this uh, um, pandemic will quickly find its way out of this country. The, the Imam that has disobeyed the order of the Emir is tr uh, a true um, disobedient person person for disobeying the laws of um, of this of the of the of the community you know how can he be holding a prayer of of um, of such number of persons despite knowing the situation in presence despite having an idea of what is actually um, going on in the country the imam, I would say, he has not actually done it right this time. He has disobeyed God, and God, I'm sure God will not be happy with him. So uh, what he should do right now, even after the torture from the emir, I would say that he should personally go and ask for forgiveness from, from Allah. Because uh, you will see, I will see that he, uh, he is indirectly saying that there is nothing anyone can do. All he is saying, the indirect is saying that um, there is nothing like the pandemic. So what is he trying to promote? He's trying to um, encourage the masses to um, to be disobedient to the to the laws of the of the authority of the of the country of the community. You know. See, when it comes to um, authority, God has given it to a leader. And that leader happens to be the one overseeing the whole country, the activities of the country. So if an order has been made by such a person, it, it looks as it, it still, um, as if, it, it still looks as if it has come from God. Because um, only God alone has our power to decide who to give it to so the imam i would say he has disobeyed god god will not come from heaven to um to give directives to to um to um to control or give instructions he will do it through human and that is what god has actually done you see the pandemic the the, the virus is a very deadly one so that is why the directive has been given. So the uh, the the the, uh, the imam to say has truly violated the the rules and laws of the community, not just the community but Nigeria at large. If Nigeria is decided is is decides to pick it up with him. Believe you me, the punishment will be times ten of what the of what the imam has um, has um, done to him. You understand so that is just the fact of the matter so my viewers i will say that let us not um argue that much let us not argue much about that about that because uh,
because uh, the imam has offended he has truly offended he is is the one at fault so not so much than that no praise should be given to him or all or the emir should be challenged at all the emir should not be challenged the emir has just um, done a very good representation yes what every other leader we do is what the emir has just done at least when next time when he remembers the lash is given to him the day he violated the law of the state or the community or the country he will not want to repeat it again he won't even want to repeat it again and also this torture is a, is a message to every violators in other community other country and also in other states aside from the states that are calling off their their lockdown considering um the present situation that one is clear but for one person to violate the law of a state of a, of a, of, a, of a community or of a state is totally wrong it's totally wrong we should come and see what um, wiki is doing to violators in rivers see what he did to his strangers in rivers how he so much dealt with them and worked them out what did he do to um, to the oil workers the exomobile workers that came in to the, the states without any formal notice yes that's just it that's the reality that's the truth that's a fact so um everyone should try to understand the action of the of the emir is for the good of that community is for the good of that state is for the good of the people you know um, gathering some then that numbers of people for prayer what's he trying to pass is he trying to say that he's earlier than 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 uh than, than uh, muhammad what, what is he trying to say what is he trying to do if other um, muslim brethren and brothers can isolate themselves maintain social distancing how much more him he called himself an imam imam for that matter imam that's supposed to even stand as a directive as as as, as someone to direct the people the people on how to isolate themselves properly a mom that's supposed to be a forerunner and a forefront preacher of this pandemic instead of him doing that is even um is even um messing up um the right uh messing up the the law of the state do you understand so my viewers I will say that the Imam has actually done it wrong. He has actually gone wrong by doing this. So um, nobody should argue that fact. Nobody should argue that uh, this act of uh, of the Emir, because at least is for the good of uh, of that community. So um, my viewers without any um, much talk concerning this i want to say that the the imam has actually done what is right so any other person around should uh, should um, um, try to pay attention should try to um, to be obedient should try to be submissive should try to keep to instructions you know obedience they say is is next to godliness you see um the imam they didn't um didn't um do it right he didn't do it right it, he has forgotten that he's a preacher of islam what message is a person anyway what message is a person by being disobedient it is not it is not it is not proper and it can never be so uh, this is a message to other imam as well they should try to be the preacher the, the doer of what they preach and not just um, a preacher 
you understand it doesn't go well let us uh, try to isolate ourselves maintain social distance at this period you know and also join hands with the government to see to the quick eradication of this um, virus out of nigeria so this is a little i can so what's your own comments viewers don't forget your own comment concerning these are of great importance don't forget to leave them behind click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell button to receive more updates thank you